the era of Netflix password sharing ends in 2023, Netflix has had a turbulent year as a streaming platform. Shortly after the end of the first fiscal quarter of 2022, Netflix reported a huge loss of subscribers. Since then, Netflix has toyed with a number of different ideas to attract subscribers, including an ad-supported lower subscription tier that Netflix introduced last November. Another idea was to take steps to limit password sharing between users, which can now be on the rise. The dreaded password sharing has finally arrived as Netflix announces that it will end password sharing in 2023. According to the Wall Street Journal, Netflix plans to implement systems that will charge users to share their passwords Netflix password with devices outside their home. Netflix has already started testing this system in the Latin American country version of Netflix, where users outside the primary account holder's home will be prompted to enter a verification code on screen during sign-up which expires after 15 minutes. If users don't want to go through this process when signing in, the primary account holder can choose to add up to two users. The exact mechanism by which they will do this for US-based Netflix has yet to be announced. Will this help Netflix gain subscribers? Netflix's impetus for this change remains clear, the streaming platform keen to try to maximize its subscriber base. As with their ad-supported subscription tier, the crackdown on password sharing is an attempt by Netflix to acquire new subscribers, rather than relying on the ones they currently have and inviting friends and family to join their subscription. With them, their hope is that by restricting those on the go from constantly logging into Netflix accounts, those who have previously been barred will be asked to sign up for the platform. If the password sharing ban is similar to Netflix's other changes, the streaming platform may not see the massive subscriber gains they're hoping for, as Netflix's ad-supported subscription tier is the least popular on the platform. Additionally, users complained that several big shows like Arrested Development and House of Cards weren't included in the new payout tier, which understandably bothered viewers looking for a cheap alternative to watching complete Netflix experience. According to early reports from password sharing trials in Latin America, consumers have already complained about the performance of Netflix's anti-password sharing version. If Netflix continues to implement strategies that customers don't like, the platform could risk further alienating its subscriber base. Alternatively, ending password sharing could lead to a skyrocketing number of people subscribing to the ad-supported platform. Those who can no longer benefit from a parent or someone else's Netflix subscription are more likely to create their own $6.99 divided by month account. In this regard, some might find it wise for Netflix to roll out its ad-supported plan first. Customers saddened by the loss of a free Netflix experience now have a cheaper option for their daily Wednesday, sex education or the Sandman patch, but time will tell if they will benefit when Netflix rolls out its auto no password in 2023. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support my channel.